Let's see what we got here. What am I gonna shoot with today? I think I'm gonna shoot with the X Pro 2. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna shoot with the 35 today. Look at that. It's a beautiful combination. Okay, check battery. No? Okay. Never ever leave your battery on because Fuji Bombs are very notorious for the on and off switch to turn on its own and go to on. So never ever leave a battery inside. Got one here. Ready to go. Turn it on. Yep. Let's go. It is on just in case. Give you guys a view real quick. Let me take a walk on the top real quick and see what I can do. Something. Nah, I can not just at this time of the year during summertime. POV point of view photography for me is not about trying to get the best photos in one go because I really don't know if I will. But I will try my best just because it's good practice, get some real nice shots of like trees. People walking, you never know what's gonna happen. I have to say hi to people once in a while. He was actually nice about it. He wasn't really annoyed that I'm taking pictures like some people are. Sometimes you're gonna get some people that are happy and not happy about taking pictures in public. But I like this view right here. Let me see if I can kind of Put my hand and block off the sun glare because it's very, very hard. But let me put it in my eye. Interestingly enough, um, the city of Houston actually has a lot more green space than any other cities out there, including New York City. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Houston has more green spaces than New York City. Even if they have the, I guess they call it Times Square Park or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't really know. But I know for a fact that Houston has a lot of green spaces, a lot of parks as far as land mass. Now, I haven't myself explored everything but I can't wait to show you. I think I'm gonna start a series of showing you different parks in the city. Um, just so that you don't think it's all skyscrapers and cowboys and horses. <laughs> I'm gonna get this cool shadow here of the bridge. Get this nice shot. I think I'm gonna get this shot over here. Hopefully, my 35 can reach it. If not, I think it can. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go to 5.6 again. I'm not shooting portraits, so I don't need to shoot at f1.4. All of you bokeh lover, or shall we say, Tone, shout out to Camera Conspiracies. 
you're gonna eat tonne all the time why would you you want to see the background sometimes we don't want to blur out Tony's family. Point of view photography is all about different perspective, different subjects. You know, how are you going to get better if you're shooting the same thing all the time? So for instance, I don't really shoot a lot of wildlife, but for today, I will. Today I'm gonna take a picture of that stork. If I can see it, I'll take it. If I can get it, if I can reach with this 35 millimeter. Although this does look nice. Let me take a picture of this first. Yeah, more of my style. All right, let me go back up. After I take a picture of this stork, I'm gonna try to walk up and get out of here just because, like I said, I'm going out of the city and not in. Uh, did the stork leave? No, he's there. I just, you know what? Back here looked better because I could see the silhouette. Or was he lit up perfectly? Yeah, you know what? He's too far. Let's try. Let's try and get it. I already made a walk. I'm gonna have to try to get it. Although I can't get some cool shot of this right here. Look at this. You know what, let's do this. I think we can make something happen. What do you think? Looks good, right? You know what? <laughs> I'm glad I'm out here because you know what? It gives you a different perspective and a different look of how the city looks. Let me see if I can get this shot right here. You know what? I'm gonna try to make an effort to make a POV video at least once every week just because it's interesting you know I feel like I'm getting better I'm getting better because I'm looking out for different subjects uh, sometimes I feel like my photography is struggling because I'm I'm not going anywhere different I'm always taking pictures of the same buildings of similar style shots. You know, I have to I have to walk out of there and show you that the city is different. Ooh, I like this shot right here. Ooh, check this out. I mean, seriously guys, you have to get out there and really explore your city. This right here is actually a good spot that I can bring for a client. So, for those of you that wants to understand why street photography, like why even, why even mess with street photography why sacrifice the time of your day especially on a hot sunny day where you can just be chilling at home sitting in your sofa watching Netflix eating popcorn that's that's what I would be doing right now but let me tell you why if you're a photographer and you're looking for a new place to take pictures at, this is the best way for you to find new places. Uh, you have to scout. 
Yeah, you can always try to do Google Maps to find new locations, or you can um, ask questions to your favorite photographer that you follow on Instagrams or wherever. But really, you'll find a lot of different places that you can take pictures at if you're just willing to take the time out of your day and get out there. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of running out of breath. So <laughs> if I'm like pausing every other words, it's because I'm trying to catch my breath. Um, speaking of which, I need to find a way to get back down there because I'm on the top, but I want to get back down. And this sun is hitting me right now. It's hitting directly into my face. And I know it's hitting the, the DJI Osmo action. So 30 minutes in, I think I got some shots. Let's see if I can get this. Ooh, this is nice. Nothing special, but at least it's something different that I never captured before. And that's the point, right? Street photography is about you taking pictures of different subjects. Anything that catches your eyes, take a picture of. Okay, I got that. That looks good. I think I may go for a more scenic route today. I usually try to get people, but no, no. Houston is interesting. Now that I'm kind of on the outskirts of the city, well, I'm technically in the city, but I'm not inside between the skyscra uh, skyscrapers. Good Lord, that's a difficult word for me to say. <laughs> I'm not between the skyscrapers, so it's very interesting to see the city in this perspective. Wow, I never, never thought about it. Ah, I think I got it. I was waiting for somebody to go down there. Yep, I got it. See, wanted to ask a person in there. Just because, look, I'll be honest with you, adding a human element in photos for me is the best. I want people in the photos. Sometimes you just have to wait and be patient. But, so I'm doing this for YouTube. I don't wanna hang around in one spot the whole time. I wanna walk around and show you different views. Like right now I'm gonna take a picture of that statue. That's just because there's a nice, beautiful backlight. Maybe it'll be a silhouette shot, I don't know. Let's see. Interesting. I'm telling you guys, you gotta get out there. If you live in a major city, it's up to you to get out there and make images. I'm, I'm having way too much fun guys, there's just so many. Let me go higher on the shutter speed just because I think it's going too slow for me. Let me go 500. That's fine. You think that, look, if you want to know how I shoot, I mainly focus on the aperture, right? And I tend to leave my ISO and my shutter speed on auto, but just because right now, my camera is wanting to do the lowest ISO as possible, but that also means that my shutter speed isn't high enough. So I'm gonna go to 500, just because I want to capture motion uh very sharp 
Yeah, I think this could work, man. <laughs> Hey, this is this is dope. I'm glad I, I came out out here under the Buffalo Bayou Trail just because I never really really explored. If you see my previous POV videos, it's been more like in the city, inside. And again, like I said, I am in the city, but I'm not between the buildings, so it gives me a lot of different um, pictures to take. I don't know, it's just so much fun. I'm trying to see what can I do. I really want to get this shot right here. If you can see it, if you have a, photo a photographer and you can see the shot, I know you can. You can kind of expect a shot from me. So you can do a different thing. You can do landscape, but I want to do vertical just so I can capture the semi-circle a wall I'm not sure what you call that I want to get the bridge I want to get that semicircle and just really focus on that it's really cool So I managed to get a person riding a bike across the bridge. Let's see how that came out. Hmm, let's see if I can go to a thousand. You think a thousand came out sharper? I think so. Yep. 500 was a little bit blurry for me for my liking with the person walking that was fine but if i want to capture someone riding a bicycle i know i have to go to at least 1000 of a, of a second so yeah you have to uh really really know your camera settings if you want to capture a sort a sharp uh image oh yeah another photographer out there telling you right now it's summertime but everybody want to take picture so if you're a photographer the best time for you to take picture out in the city would be maybe seven and on just because you have another light another hour of light for you and i can see that person right there yeah all right let's go fun fact i got married on the private ballroom in the aquarium so every time I come here and I'm with my wife, I always point out to her, hey baby, that's where we got married. Remember that? All right, so we're back to where I want to be. So for this one, I do want to take it in 1.4 just because I want to isolate the tree a little bit more. Oh, I can see a shot coming. There you go. I got uh, another bicyclist. Again, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be very boring just because I'm taking a lot of pictures of bicycles. Mm -hmm. eh, I'm not okay. It's nothing that's gonna win me a street photography award, but <laughs> again, the whole point for me is to have fun. It's not. I'm not trying to submit my photos for a competition. If anything, I'm just trying to show you guys, my audience, my fellow photographers, how important it is for you to get out there in the city and document it in a different way. You never know what you're going to capture. You have to be ready at all times. Let me hop over this real quick. Just because I want to get this shot ready. This looks really amazing Go. 
Hit that rock steady action. You know what? Maybe, maybe we can get something nice over here. Ooh, you know what? I see, I see potential. Never give up on the shot. You know what? This is the shot I was talking about. This is the one. Look, 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 look. If you can see, man. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna wait around and see if we can find something here. Cause this is dope. This is amazing right here. So I'm gonna do two things, two things. I'm gonna take a picture with the 35 and then I'm gonna take a picture with the 16. That way I can get two different ranges that I want. Houston, we have a lot of different places we can take pictures at. Let me just say that. All you people out there are really, really underrated Houston as a city. We have a lot of views. It's, it's beautiful. I, I'm excited. I, I'm ready to get this shot. Sometimes there's a lot of waiting. There we go. Got it. So now I'm going to switch to the uh, 16. 16. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. You're going to see why I want to switch to the 16. Tell me that's not a bad ass view. Come on now. Again, I'm shooting at 5.6. I'm not shooting at 1.4. Why would I shoot at 1.4? What's wrong with you? I don't think that's it, man. I don't think I can do anything else. But you know what? I think we're going to end it with this shot. And that's it. Come Houston with love tonight. So we're gonna wrap it up and say bye to the camera.